Farmers are notorious for giving directions that involve local landmarks. For example, it's at the end of the road near the bent fence post, or head yonder towards the old Johnson homestead. And farmer Paul Wagner, he gives the same kind of directions, except his landmark is actually well known. If anybody wants to know where I live, I say, well, where the big walnut tree is. At the corner of Dakota and North Avenue in the Wood Colony community of Modesto stands California's oldest known walnut tree. There was one up in Chico that was uh, black walnut that was challenging it. That one's since been taken down, so this is the irrefutable largest walnut tree. A man by the name of Jacob Cover planted the walnut tree in 1904. It was among the first walnut trees planted in Stanislaw County. And today, it stands over 100 feet tall and has a trunk circumference of 36 feet. So this is a paradox seedling. A paradox is a cross between a black walnut and an English walnut. The Wood Colony community was founded by German immigrants who worked the land and turned it into an agriculture mecca and eventually started California's monopoly on the walnut industry. Virtually 100% of the walnuts, uh, English walnuts in the United States are produced in California. Paul Wegner's family settled in Wood Colony in 1910. And today, Paul farms the historic property where the state's oldest walnut tree grows. It's like a, a little mini earthquake. Harvesting methods have changed a lot since his great-grandfather worked the land. Instead of waiting to pick up fallen nuts off the ground, these tree shakers bring thousands of nuts to the ground and sweepers follow behind and collect them up for processing. Nuts are brought in from the field. We drop them out of the truck. Then they'll go up and go into the hauler. The hauler shakes, cleans, and separates sticks and debris. We're going to run 75 ton a day or so. And after a thorough cleaning, it's time to dry off. Paul uses a converted peanut wagon equipped with an industrial hot air dryer. The secret is to deliver them at 8% or less moisture. You really don't want moist walnuts. They might spoil and they don't crack open as well as dried nuts. Do the processing machines do a better job than by hand? Well, hand is always going to be better, but it's going to be a lot more expensive. A lot of times machines will smash the walnut meat into several pieces, but when Paul wants to eat walnuts, he uses a very special nutcracker, one probably used by his grandfather. I think that might be a shoeing hammer, actually. The walnut may be a tough nut to crack, but they're loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for a healthy diet. And chances are, if you're eating a walnut, the DNA from that nut can probably be traced back right here to California's oldest walnut tree. There's orchards planted all over California from this rootstock. From California's oldest walnut tree, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads. Thank you.